Brad. I'm John. It is the fourth of four from we call a comedy tour. It is, of course, Ron White, the only one, the only one that we've actually seen live. Yep. Weirdly enough, I because am. oh yeah, good seats to his. Oh we're yeah, like, we're like in the seventh row or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it, we, we, we are close. Uh, it's like when we saw Jeff it's... Dunham, we were we, we were off in <laughs> the very nosebleeds. That, we were at the very last row. Yeah, we were. Yeah, back in the, row. We were up the, in the rafters. Down, yeah, back row on like the third tier, all the way yeah. back. But uh, same year, oddly enough, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Yeah, that was back when we had good jobs and well, yeah, we were making money. That's true. Um, well, they weren't actually that expensive either. Yeah, you know, it's, back, it's back, you know, it's, it's, it's back, you know, 15 years ago when you could actually see these, you know, any of these comedians or, yeah. you know, shows hey. <laughs> uh, inexpensively. Not so much anymore. But a lot of stuff gets put online now, so yeah. yay. So that we're, we're ready? Yes. All oh, right. uh, yeah. So it's Ron White. This little uh, video chunk is called um, Coupons. No, Coupons. No, Coupons. Okay. All right. Well, before we get going, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Check out the description down below where you're going to find a link to the video we're about to watch and the channel that it comes from, which weirdly enough actually is Ron White's channel because he actually has one on YouTube. Yeah. You'll also find uh, links to our social media. Uh, the other channels that we have on YouTube, and if you want to help the channel out, then there's a Patreon wish list and a store where you can buy some stuff that might be 80s but is probably Gen X related. Yeah. Gotta love the 80s. That's a t shirt. Best decade ever. That is. Gotta throw the plugs in. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta make money so we can go see these people in concert again. Yeah, or that's in, he's I don't retiring. Know concert. Huh? He's retiring. Oh. I think most of them actually have retired now. I think Larry might be the only one who hasn't retired. Well, I mean, I could see why. I mean, uh, well, yeah, they <laughs> are actually old, it, but... older than you think. Yeah, yeah, because Bill Engvall's retired. I think Jeff Fox. I think Jeff Foxworth is retired as well. He's retiring this year. Uh, um, so I think Larry the Cable Guy might be the only one who's still going. Yeah. Then again, what it, it, what do I know? He might be retired as well. Yeah. <laughs> you reach a point where it just gets too hard <laughs> to keep going out on the road constantly. Yeah, comedy now is being people are yeah that too. People are too sensitive and yeah, easily offended and yeah. And <laughs> so. Any who's, I shall hit the play button. And they'd probably really be offended by him. Maybe he's the storyteller of the group. Mm -hmm. The rest tend to do jokes with, with, with his cigarette and um, or cigar and um, booze. Oh well, yeah, I can't think of what he drank so. Uh, I think it depends. <laughs> I think he said it. I think there's always something. Anyway, let's get on with it. Never all rambling. <laughs> so it's great to be uh, back in Kalamazoo at the uh, State Theater. <laughs> Last time I was here, they took me to the Blues Festival, which and I love the blues, but the, uh, they need to figure out some problems with the festival. I don't, <laughs> I don't like to party anywhere where you can't just give somebody money and they give you back a beer. You know what I mean? I stood in line for an hour. My mouth is dry. I want a beer. I love beer. I know they're selling beer. People are walking away from the front of the line. They've got beer. That's how I figured the whole thing out. <laughs> I get up there. I give the guy my money. He goes, we don't take money here. <laughs> what do you take? <laughs> Coupons. Yeah, I thought it was <laughs> Coupons. Where do I get a coupon? You see that line over there? It takes forever. I stood in that line for an hour. I got to show them a driver's license, birth certificate, fill out a form. They mail that away. <laughs> Send me back some coupons. <laughs> What are you doing, Ron? I'm waiting on UPS. There's a, there's a good chance I'll have a beer by Thursday. I'm partying like a Kennedy right now. I 
I was game, too. I had 100 bucks cash on me, about 100 bucks worth of coupons. <laughs> and then some guys that took me there asked me if I wanted to go to a uh, topless club, and I didn't uh, yeah. want to go. <laughs> I just ended up going because you guys backed me up on this. You've seen one woman naked. You want to see the rest of them naked. <laughs> it could be an old biker chick. You know, they're going to hang down to here. Say, you want to see my titties? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. Roll them back up, sweetheart. <laughs> Things that make you go. <laughs> and then closing time came around and the tabs came out and I found out the titty bar don't accept them coupons. <laughs> the guy at Taco Bell told me to kiss his ass. <laughs> I'll give you $40 worth of coupons for a burrito with cheese. <laughs> it's all I've got. <laughs> It's a coupon. <laughs> uh, I don't think they're quite that bad at our state fair. Yeah. When we're in Colorado. I don't think they do that. Um, I know all the rides, all of the, uh, the, um, all the rides and stuff, you have to buy coupons or tickets or whatever the hell yeah. they're calling them this year for. Um, but yeah, I don't think they actually did that with beer. That you could actually still use, you know, money. Although, yeah, I'm pretty obviously sure it's been it years now that. since we've been. Yeah, but <sighs> yeah, <clears throat> I can see the logic of it in a way, at least with something like beer, because yeah, I mean, if you have the coupons, then obviously you're of age to. But then it's yeah, like, yeah, but you can just buy them for your friends. Oh and, yeah, it's a, I would, I would think that'd be worse because it's yeah. like. Okay, here, I bought it. Go, there you go. Yeah. You're, you're 20 and a half. Oh. It's like, there you go. Oh, man. So I saw something that comes close to truth in advertising. The De Beers people are almost saying what they really mean because the old De Beers slogan was, Diamonds are forever. Then they changed it to this year, Take her breath away. The new slogan is, Diamonds render her speechless. Why don't they just go ahead and say it? Diamonds. That'll shut her up. <laughs> For a minute. <laughs> that is actually one of my favorite jokes of his. So, man, I was just in... Uh, uh, Miami, I don't know, it was a couple years ago, so I didn't I guess just would not be the word, but uh, <laughs> I was working there with Fox when Hurricane George hit the Keys. I just thought this was kind of funny. They evacuated the Keys, and everybody left except for, I've been through two hurricanes. I was uh, in Hurricane Carla when I was a kid in Houston, and I was real excited during hurricane time, you know, because it's out there in the Gulf, and it's dangerous, and I was like, this is cool, until shit started hitting our house. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> But anyway, they evacuate the keys, and everybody leaves except for one guy who's going to stay there and tie himself to a tree on the beach to prove a point. And the point was, he said that at 53 years of age, he was in good enough physical condition to withstand the wind and the rain from a Force 3 hurricane. All right. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. It isn't that the wind is is blowing, <laughs> it's what the wind is blowing. <laughs> if you get hit with a Volvo, <laughs> it doesn't really matter how many sit-ups you did that morning. <laughs> If you have a yield sign in your spleen, <laughs> jogging don't come into play. I can run 25 miles without stopping. You're bleeding. <laughs> Shit. So, man, 
last time I was here, I had uh, somebody broke into my truck and stole my radio. Thank you, whoever you were. I <laughs> got to drive back to Texas, listen to the sound of wind for 49 hours. <laughs> I went to the insurance company. I was filling out these forms, and I got to the part on the form where it says, what kind of radio was it? And I told the guy I didn't remember, and he said, Mr. White, if you can remember what kind of radio it was, we'll know how much money to give you. That's some good news right there. <laughs> I thought of a real expensive sounding brand, and I wrote it down, and he knew I was lying. Was like, Mr. White, I don't believe Rolex makes a radio. <laughs> It was a clock radio. <laughs> Write the check, premium boy. <laughs> they love it when you call him premium boy. Next time you see your agent, call him premium boy. He'll get a chuckle. Huh. Uh, yep, good old comedy. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's under attack like everything else seems to be, but yeah. Uh, uh, we haven't uh, experienced our hurricane yet. No. There were, what, two right before we bought it? There were yes. Two right before we bought it. They were Neither of them here. They were, no, they came through here. Yeah, but they didn't But they were big. They, well, yeah, they were. Well, it hit. They what would it hit like Lake Charles, I think. Yeah, it hit Lake Charles, which is you know not north. that that far west, east. Um, but the place, oh, yes. the, the yeah. property has east. flooded twice in two hurricanes yeah. long before. So mm. and we still bought it. So, and they say twenty four is supposed to be a bad year. So mm. it's knock on wood <laughs> that it's a. Uh, Calm, because it's been calm the last couple of years for us. So, yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, you've had two major hurricanes hit here that we know of that has flooded this this place. Then, like I said, you had two hurricanes literally like weeks apart from each other right before we bought it. True. So, we should be good for at least another twenty years. Yeah, uh, got that mother good. nature. So, yeah. well, it, that, just, it all depends on where they they hit. Yeah, and you can't count Harvey. Which is one of the times it's Well, that was when that was when it flooded. Yeah. but it was flooded because of the rain. Yes, it I'm sorry. If, if if it rains for three days solidly anywhere, you're uh, going to have flooding. Yeah. I don't care. Well, yeah, when you get sixty <laughs> inches of rain in yeah, three six, days, so, yeah, six, five feet of rain in three yeah. days, you know, seventy two hours. It's like it's going to flood. It doesn't yeah. matter where you live. Yeah. So, so anyway, well, that was our last of the blue collar. Mm hmm. What do they call them? Blue collar stuff, whatever. Blue collar comedy tour. Yeah. They used to call so. themselves. But we're probably going to hit them up again, or probably. along with some other um, comedians. Comedians. Yeah. So if you want to see any of those, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Uh, you can leave comments and suggestions down below, and if you hit the notification bell, you know when we do them. And until next time, thanks for watching.